year will be the 43rd year. It's at Market Hall, which is a pretty historic venue. It's 160,000 square feet. Uh, you know, all the major manufacturers show up, but all the guitar dealers from all over the world come. And plus, we have four stages. So through the years, I mean, everybody from Joe Satriani, we co-produced the first Crossroads, you know, five minute event there in Dallas. Uh, I mean, you name it, Chet Atkins, I mean, they've been there play. And so it's quite a privilege. And we, one stage that we added a few years ago is called the Young Guns of Guitar Stage. We're really heavily invested in, you know, the young players coming up and loving guitars and, you know, learning about guitars the whole bit. And we do a contest on Sunday morning uh, you have to be 19 and under to play on that stage. And some amazing people, I mean, Kingfish, who was just nominated for a Grammy, has been coming to our show and playing since he was like 14, Ali Venable. You know, tons of our kids, like, you know, three of our kids have been on American Idol. I think four have been on The Voice and gone through. Uh, we're so proud of these kids. And, you know, so we fly them in from all over the United States. On Sunday morning, we have a contest called the Texas Dinner 20 Contest. And the top 10 contestants, that we have a team that picks them. Uh, they compete. The first prize is $10,000 cash scholarship, college scholarship, and guitars from Gibson, and you know, Reverend Guitars, Fender, Heritage, everybody, everybody supports it with amps and prizes. So the first, second, and third place winners, you know, they win a great stuff. And so, but it just, you know, the parents, they're all, it's like a culture that we're trying to raise up. And we call it the Young Guns of Guitar. Gibson is heavily supportive of this. So it's, it's something we're really committed to. You know. Well, it's really, it really is about uh, continuing the legacy. Absolutely. And uh, isn't it exciting to meet young players or just so enthusiastic? They're amazing. The, the internet and the influence of the internet has just, I mean, some of these kids, we're bringing in a kid from uh, Australia that's maybe that tall. And when you see him, you'll be blown away, you know. I mean, these they're incredible, you know. Uh, Reese Malone, uh, Kingfish when he was really young. And he just now, you know, like, he's now he can't play on the, the young guard stage. He has to go to the big stage, you know. So, But the show has, I mean, through the years in the show, you know, Eric Johnson has played a jillion times. Uh, Joe Satriani, Robin Ford. I mean, you name it. You know, we've been very thankful to have him play. So, George Lynch. Philip Sace, the new guy that everybody's blown away with. Um, you know, and then on Friday we do a thing called Girls of Guitar, uh, which Sweetwater Music sponsors that. And so that's a whole nother interaction. It's wonderful. Females only. Yep. But it's fun, you know. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Well, I love guitar collecting and the finding of guitars and the buy sell trade aspect of it, but you know, What's the purpose of guitar is, you know, so you can express yourself, to create a passion in you, to, play, to have, you know, the guitar aspect of this, but then have the festival surround it, you know. And uh, it's just a great week. And people come in from all over the world, you know. Stradivisers. Stradivisers is three guitars and harmony and the whole bit. But it's our 33rd year in the Stradivisers. So, you know, we still travel, you know, so we still, we just did State Theater and Penn State, and, you know, we're having fun, so I'm not going to quit. We own Studio Southwest, which was a major recording studio. You know, we didn't do it, you don't get in the recording business to make money, trust me. Uh, but we did it because I wanted to have a place to record, you know. Uh, you know, building guitars is so, I can build things like, you know, I think I would enjoy and my friends would enjoy. You know, they're huge in Japan and they love them. And so, uh, you know, the pickups, same thing. Like my thing has always been, I'll go after something and I'll do it. And I'm very business minded, but I don't do it from the standpoint of, you know, if we do this, this and this, then we can make this much money. You know, that, that's just not how my mind works. I'm left-handed, so if that explains it. You know. So we do things more out of passion, really, than, than anything. You know, the guitar show is a huge endeavor to take on. We work 12 months a year with a full-time team that works on it all year long, you know. So we just love it. You know. Music is, it's just hard, and then it's hard. 
and then it's heart. It's to move people. You know, it's a powerful thing. And this is just, you know, an instrument to express yourself. You know, everybody loves the sunbursts and the 50 strats and everything, which I love and we own. And, and uh, I'm thankful. I mean, my favorite guitars are vintage guitars that I play all the time. And everything. But really, find something that gets the sound that you hear in your head. Find something that you can get a relationship with, that you have the ability to play what you hear in your head, you know, tone-wise, you know. Um, it's really an individual thing. I mean, a lot of people go play what they see a famous person play because they want to emulate that person, and that's a genuine thing, I get it. But, you know, experiment, and you find something that you like, that feels good to you, that looks good to you, that inspires you. That's, to me, that's why I think it's cool with the guys that are rising up. I mean, where you and I loved you know, Les Paul Sunburst or Strats, which I love and I love that a lot of kids love them. I mean, they may love a jazz master. They may love a Mustang. They may love, you know, Les Paul Studio. The point is, a big part of it's in our hands anyway, so don't tell anybody I said that, you know. Uh, and so, it's really each to his own, you know.